Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is September 27th of 2019. I uh, purchased this headset yesterday, Logitech G Pro X gaming headset with Blue Voice technology. Or did I get it yesterday? Did I get it yesterday or the day before? Can't remember. This is my third video where I've talked about it. Uh, I'm using the headset right now. Um, I've had a couple well, more than that. Uh, a few comments that uh, here I paid $130 for this thing. And uh, I've got several comments that uh, people like the old headset that I was using better. Ugh. So I want to, uh, one thing, I think I'll just turn off the advanced controls. I think I'll just turn off the advanced controls because I still have the option for Picking one of these uh, preset voices. So I've turned off all of the advanced controls. But, well, let me go to, I'm not going to use AM radio. I'm going to use Broadcaster 2. I'm going to switch to Broadcaster 2. Okay, I'm using Broadcaster 2. Okay. But I went, I, I, I I'm at their uh, Logitech's, well, I haven't registered the product yet. I should do that, but I'm not going to do it because now <laughs> I'll come back and do it later. Um, firmware update tool. Okay, what about that? Okay. Hmm. Firmware update tool. The firmware update tool allows you to update your Logitech wireless receivers and select keyboard to the latest firmware. I don't think I need that. Okay. Um. Okay. Download. What download do they have? I don't think I'm going to need any downloads. Let's see. Firmware update tool. Logitech options. Logitech capture mode. Okay, the G Hub is what I'm using now. It should be updated. Uh, okay. Logitech. Uh, gaming software mode. I think that's for my uh, keyboard and mouse and whatever. I think that's up to date also, I believe. Okay, Logitech broadcaster mode. I wonder about the, well, the camera, Logitech Brio should be current. Okay, choose, oh, okay, what Mac, how do we get to the Mac? Okay, now let's see, community, how can we help you? Okay, uh, okay. Well, that's the name of the um, that. This is up to date. Last updated um, August fourteenth. Oh, 
like I'd be happy just for um, a, a doc file that would uh, let's see download let's look at downloads uh, I think I already looked at that right Say control center. Downloads and apps. Spare parts. I'm wondering about that. This microphone, you know, plugs in. And uh, select a Headsets. Let's see. Headphones. Select product. Let's see. Okay, I don't see. <clears throat> I'm sure they sell. Um, okay, what's Logitech? There should be a, a uh, support. Okay. Let's see. Downloads. There should be a help file. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Or, wait, I think I can just go down here to, uh, whoops. Okay. Well, they have 428 files. Customize. Okay, I already have that. I have that. Show all downloads. Oh, no, 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 no. Community. Because there has to be, okay, uh, Okay, headsets and earphones. Okay, how to get the Pro X sound to the same on the PS4. Let's see. <sighs> Pro X microphone not working. Well, mine is working. This is just going to be a question or a comment. So this is a message board. Okay. Okay, Logitech Pro X, one month ago. I have a question. Does anyone know where I can come and ask if it's possible? And their message board sucks. To change the inscription on the headband. 
Boy, am I in the wrong place. There's a question about uh, the ProX headset with blue voice. Every time I turn every time I turn on my PC, I always have to unplug the and then plug the USB DAC again for the G Hub software to detect my I'm not having that problem. Somebody else says the same problem. I think there's something wrong with the software. Okay. I don't think there's any help here for me. Meet the headset. Okay, there it is. Advertise. Let's see. Wait a minute. No. Okay. Okay. No, this is, let's see. Okay, they have a lot of stuff, but they have no help for me. Uh, maybe just do a Google search. Let's see, uh, technology, filter, let's see. Let's see. Setting up programming headset. Setting up the Pro X gaming headset with G Hub. Let's see. While most gamers are loving the headset and having a great time. We have a handful of cases where customers are having issues connecting with their gaming PCs with the G-Hub. Let's see. I'm not having that problem, but I see they do have help for that. Plug the microphone in the head jack. I'm not having any problem. Find the braided cable in the box and connect the end with the with the volume control box into the headset. Make sure that cable's all the way connected. Okay, I did that. Open G Hub, navigate, okay. Not the problem I'm having. Blue Voice requires a headset to be plugged into the included USB sound card. It will not function if the headset is plugged into another sound card, even if the included USB sound card is connected. Make sure the volume on the control box on the cable is set to your desired volume and that the mic switch is not in the new, well, I don't, I know that's not my, uh, I know that's not my problem. There is volume 
See, I'm not even you. I don't even use the. Uh, Let's see, wait a minute. Make sure you're not using the plastic mobile cable with the PC and the USB DAC. This cable has an inline mic and is intended to be used with a mobile device like a phone or tablet. There is an inline mic on the cable that enter faces with the mic on the headset and the blue voice will not work with that. Uh, I don't think that's the problem. Well this is close, let's see. Somebody playing Battleground, and the sound that comes out of the gameplay was very hard, very bad, not in accordance with the, uh, let's see. So far I've been using my G Pro X for a few days now, and the sound got really quiet and flat. Guys, I found it. It was a little wheel on the cord on the headset. It was scrolled way down. Not enough to completely shut off the sound. Okay, that's for the headset. That's not my problem. Ouch. Oh, that didn't help. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any good today. The monitor, my monitor is so bright that it, uh, of course, it's also close. By the way, does anybody know I have an LG monitor? Uh, let's see, LG monitor, 4K by the way, um, here's the on-screen control, and I just have it to, you know, full screen, uh, some of the, like the other monitor, the long monitor I had, LG, I would, uh, I'd use this. But what I'm wondering about, I've never messed with, is the picture-in-picture. Picture. If I pick this, I get this box up here. Now, how do I get the picture-in-picture picture there? It, my question is, if I hook up my G Pro or my G7 Panasonic camera, if I hook it into an HDMI port on the back of this monitor, I'm using a display port, by the way, to get this, but if I hook into the HDMI, and then I put the, you know, the small into my uh, Panasonic G7, will that put uh, do picture in picture? Uh, maybe we should find out. We're going to do that. 
we're going to stop this. Don't touch the mouse. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, you know, I shouldn't have started two projects. I should, this should be a separate video. This is my uh, Panasonic G7 camera. And I have it hooked into, from here, into the back of the monitor into an HDMI port. I didn't get yet it to show up. I mean, I know it. Anyway, I haven't got that figured out. By the way, so I'm going to actually stop this camera, which it doesn't matter. Because, let me take out this USB. All right. HDMI. It'll be the HDMI. Let me show you the uh, here's the battery compartment here on the bottom of the camera. There we go. And this did not cost very much money at all. Let's see where. There it is. I forget what it cost. I'll put the link, I guess, below to it. Now you have to make sure that well, See, this works for the G7. I'll put the link to it. It works for, I think, some others. It works for another Panasonic camera that I have. But here it is. It's just, this is not a actual battery. Little box with the connector or whatever. Long cable. And it lets you power your camera into AC. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the battery running out on you. Uh... So I switched to, uh, by the way, a different uh, camera recording program. I was using MeriCam for the first part, and I'm now using De Debut NCH or whatever it is. Here it is over here, Debut Video Camera Software. I'm trying it out. <clears throat> well, I mean, I've tried it out before. I've used it before, but... I discovered that the ice cream was missing. I did a thorough, thorough search and questioning of the entire crew. And then I discovered who had stolen. There's nothing more dangerous to a ship than the pilfering of supplies. The Kane Mutiny. Well, I actually haven't solved anything, have I? Unless the audio is better. Uh, have we learned anything? Uh, let's see here. My keyboard coloring went wacky when I uh, uninstalled something. Let's check the audio level. I think it's okay. And I'm using 
I believe, yes, that shows right here I'm using Broadcaster 2. But let me step through High Voice Loud. Okay, this is High Voice Loud. One, two, three, four, five, testing. This is High Voice Soft. One, two, three, four, five, testing. This is Low Voice Loud. One, two, three, four, five. And this is Low Voice Soft. And I'm going to go back to Broadcaster 2. I'm now at Broadcaster 2. Okay, I'm going to bring this to a conclusion. And I may do a search on YouTube for how to in now I've I've done that I did this before using this camera and I forget how I did it but there are, is a video or videos a few on here where I was using this camera instead of the Logitech that may be what I need to do, is be disable the Logitech. And then select that camera. But, was I doing this into, yes I was. No, no, I remember I was using that, uh, I gave that to my grandson. And that, yeah, I was using that, what was that? I do a search for it, I purchased it. If I go to um, Amazon, what's it going to be called? Orders. Okay. I sent these two items to my uh, <clears throat> son in Florida, so he'll have them for the next hurricane. Uh, this is not it. What did I get this cable for? Oh, okay, that's what I have hooked up to the Brio camera. It's very long cable and it is uh, USB Type C and it's uh, 3.0 USB 3.0 and so that gives me 4K if I want it. Uh, I also sent these uh, pots and pans to my uh, son in Florida. This is what I'm eating, by the way, right now. Well, I think I, I think I wasted enough of your time. Let me find something out. Let's see. How can I... Because when I was using this before, I was not going into the monitor. When I was using my G7 camera, I was actually going into the computer. I have the other cable. That wouldn't work though. Or w I don't know. I am confused. Perpetually, permanently, peculiarly perplexed by all of this high tech stuff. Thank you very much for watching.